Hi. So I attended my first archery class on Monday night at Archery Excellence in Independence, Missouri. It was a fantastic course. The instructor, Melinda, was amazing. She was on top of everything, you know, all the details, uh, kept the class engaged. And funny enough, we were there for an hour and a half, I think, and we only shot five arrows, not until the very end of the class. Uh, and three of those arrows we shot with our eyes closed. Um, that being said, it was the time flew. Uh, there was a lot of information that she presented, and she gave us some homework, which is what I have in my hands right now, uh, to try and practice some of the things that we learned. So what I'm going to do is try to rehearse the uh, routine, the shot sequence routine that she gave us, and see how much of it I remember. And then maybe you guys can help critique me, uh, tell me where my form is off, you know, if I'm getting things out of order, if maybe I can focus on one thing more than another. All right, so the first thing she told us to start with was our stance. Um, and, you know, just first thing is just where to line up your feet. Shoulder width, you know, kind of the athletic stance. So the heels should be parallel and the toes should be pointed slightly out. Um, that's to allow us to actually uh, supply some more rigidity, I think, by ro uh, locking our knees. But before we get to that point, we have to distribute our weight. So it should be 50-50 left and right, and front and back, we wanna be a little bit more towards the front, and the back's a little bit more on the balls of our feet. So the way she told us to go about it was to simply uh, rock forward until we kind of feel our toes start to curl, which is where I am right now, uh, and then relax just a bit off that. So that should get most of the weight on the front of the feet. Once we're there with our feet opened up a little bit, we can kind of lock our knees in place, give ourselves a nice solid foundation, uh, and then we're in our abdomen, right? So our stomach should be firm, the belly button should be basically forcing itself back against the spine. Chest should be low. We're not putting chest out, not trying to curve the back. Chest should be low. And then shoulders should be relaxed and then rocked back. So I'm not lifting them up. I'm rocking them back. To try and make, I guess, a flat plane with my shoulder blades. All right, so once I'm there, I think the next thing that I'm going to do, normally I would knock the arrow, but since I'm just practicing with this surgical band here, um, I'm going to, what do they call it? Hook and grip. That was it, hook and grip. Okay, so I'm going to start. I'm uh, left eye dominant, so I'm going to be shooting this way, drawing back with my left hand. I'm going to go ahead and... Put my right arm down. She told us to kind of think about punching through the ground and then cocking back our wrist. And we'll take the first two fingers here and put them on top of the thumb. That leaves these other two fingers, the pinky and the ring finger, free to kind of pull back and help us activate the top of our forearm. So once I'm there, I've got the uh, three fingers on my draw a hand with a little bit of pressure on the string and I'm now going to set the arm so that's what I was doing before got my elbow here rotated in towards the hip because uh, I'm not trying to hyperextend it and then I'm gonna set the arm all right so back to where that stance was and then I'm gonna raise it up keeping a little bit of tension all right Hopefully I've got my shoulder relaxed, so just a little bit above my shoulder. The hand should be a little bit above my shoulder. And from there I'm going to draw back using my shoulder, not my bicep, but using my shoulder to rotate the elbow up. And then finding my anchor by putting the middle finger at the corner of my mouth and my thumb underneath my jaw there. And then the last bit is to rotate a little bit, transfer the weight back into my shoulders. And I'm going to hold it here. And I'll bring it back in and release. 
So I'm not sure what that looked like. Take a look at it. Hopefully you guys can help me out and tell me <laughs> if I did it right or not, what I missed, what I could be doing better. But that's just where I am right now is starting out trying to get the motions down before I uh, actually pick up a bow. All right. See you next time. Daddy, I got